What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to talk about everything you need to know about absolute value questions on the SAT math section. If it's your first time here, my name is John and I've been helping students raise their SAT score to the moon for the past decade and I'm going to teach you everything I know about absolute values and you will never miss another absolute value questions again. So the absolute value questions always have an absolute value in the question somewhere. See these little bars right here? That's an absolute value symbol. So anytime you see this kind of things, this is going to be a absolute value questions. And there are going to be two types that you need to know. Okay. The first one is going to be absolute value equation. Equation meaning there is going to be an equal sign somewhere. It's an equation. And what you need to know how to do for this question is finding out exactly what the solutions are quickly. Okay. So let's take a look at this question real quick. If A and B are the solutions to the equations above, what's the value of A minus B? An absolute value. So what most people usually do is they plug and chug different numbers and hope that they can come up with the right number. And the problem is that that just takes way too long and SAT, you don't have a second to waste. And the solution to that is by using a copy and paste method, which is something we're going to go over in a second. By doing a copy and paste method, you're going to be able to find out the two solutions super quickly. Okay. Second one is going to be absolute value inequality. So this one, let's look, take a look at this. How many different integer values are um, of x satisfy this inequality right here? So this one is a little bit more complicated because there's so much more possibility. As long as it's less than three, it can work. So what most people do again is they plug and chug different numbers and hope that it all works out and they didn't miss any numbers. And that's just a super risky move. And we are going to go, go over using copy and paste how you can find out exactly how many there are as quickly as possible and as accurately as possible. Okay, so let's get straight into it, guys. So the first type is going to be absolute value equations. Okay, so if A and B are the solutions to the equations above, what's the value of absolute value of A minus B? So it tells us that A and B are the solutions to the equation above, which means A and B are values of X that makes the equation true. Okay, so there's a couple ways for us to find out exactly what A and B can be. One of them is just plugging and chugging, plugging in a bunch of numbers to X and hope that it works out. And you will eventually get it, but it's going to take a long time. But another way that you can do it is by using a copy and paste method. So here's what I mean by copy and paste. You just write the equation 2x plus 1 is equal to 5. And you copy and paste it and make the other one equal to minus 5. Okay. Without the absolute values in here, it allows you to move the numbers around and then divide and find out exactly what x could be. So minus 1 minus 1, which means 2x is equal to 4, x is equal to 2. Okay. So that's one solution. That's the one value that can make this inequal or equation true. The other one is going to be minus one minus one, two x is equal to minus six, x is equal to minus three. Okay. So our a and b, our solutions to the equation above, are going to be two and minus three. So what do we do? We subtract them. A minus b, right? So you can either do two minus minus three, or you can do minus three minus two. You're all going to get the same answer, and you want to absolute value it. So 2 minus minus 3, you add them, which gets absolute value of 5, which is 5. And minus 3 minus 2, which is going to be absolute value of minus 5, which is also going to be 5. Does that make sense? So our answer to this question is going to be 5. Okay. So that's how you quickly find out what the values can be. Okay. Rather than plugging and chugging, what you can do is copy and paste and set up two different versions and find the answer. So that's the first type of the question. Second type is going to be the inequality question. And it looks something like this. How many different integer values of X satisfy this inequality right here? Okay. So instead of finding a value of X that satisfy it, what we're doing is we're looking for how many different numbers. Okay. So this is really when copy and paste method comes in really handy because this one's a little bit more complicated. We want the left side to be less than three. So as long as it's less than three, it's all going to work out. And there's probably like, a few values that's going to work. And if you leave one or two things out, you're going to get the question wrong. So you want to find the most accurate way. And the most accurate way is going to be copy and paste method. Here's what I mean. You see this three right here, what you're going to do, oh, let me erase that. You see that three right there, what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste it to the other side. Okay. And you're going to make it negative. Okay. And in the middle, what you're going to put is the left side without the absolute value. Okay. So it looks something like that. And what you can do is you can subtract six and find out x is find out what x is because there's no absolute value signs in it anymore okay so what we do is minus six minus six minus six it becomes minus nine is less than x and x is less than minus three and this tells us that as long as x is less than um 
as long as x is between minus 3 and minus 9, it's going to work. So what numbers can work? Minus 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, so they're all minuses, of course. So how many are there? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so there are five different integer values that can make this inequality true. Okay, so rather than plugging in and then trying to find out which one works and hope for the best that you didn't leave anything out, you can just solve it algebraically like this and find out exactly what the answer is accurately and quickly. Okay, so that is exactly how you solve absolute value questions on the SAT. If you know how to solve the equation and inequality with absolute value, you can solve any every single question that shows up on the SAT with absolute value. If this is something you're struggling with right now, I can teach it to you, but it, this video would be like 20 minutes long and it would be way too long. But don't worry, there is going to be a link in the description box below or on the post if you're looking at this on the Reddit. There is going to be a link, there's going to be a lecture where it goes super in depth on understanding how absolute values work and just teaching you what I just did so you can do it on the exam too. So if you're struggling with absolute value, I highly recommend you watching that lecture because everything you need to know about absolute value is in that video. If you understand everything in that video, you are going to be set. You will never miss another absolute value question again. Okay. Also, a little quick bonus. After you stud after you finish studying the lecture, there is going to be a about eight practice questions which you can also print out and try to try out yourself to see if you really understood what we just learned. And if you can get them all right, that's a pretty good sign that you understood absolute value and it's not going to be a problem anymore. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button. And if you guys loved the video, found this video really helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I release these kind of videos summarizing what you need to know for each chapter on the SAT pretty much on like a weekly basis. So I believe these are going to really help you raise your SAT score. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, make sure you leave it in the description box below. I will try my best to go down there and answer every single question as much as possible. Also, if you guys have any topics that you would like for me to cover next, make sure you leave it in the comment section below because the videos that I make for this channel is solely dependent, heavily influenced by the videos that you guys want to see. Not what I want to see, but what you guys want to see. So let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Girl, look at you, baby, you're just looking flyer than me And I, I got that gold rollie with the bezel and Louis Vuitton on my body And I know this shit don't impress you So no bullshit, girl, nothing extra Girl, I ain't with playing games I wanna take your whole